been a while since I made a video like this. Back when I was in seventh grade science class, I was 12 years old at the time. I had the task of doing something in science, a report, and I picked electrolysis. That was 1979 and 30 miles away from TMI. A lot was going on back then. A lot of things happened in the years after that in my life. Not all of them good, unfortunately. So today I'm going to show you a phenomenon in electrolysis using three electrodes. And I did some of this in some of my previous videos. Now today I'm going to be using three carbon bars and salt solution, Mediterranean salt solution. I'm using Mediterranean salt solution instead of Caspian Sea salt just so DHS doesn't get their abbreviation in uproar. So what I did here today is I have this set up with three electrodes and I have the rheostat set up here. Now these two electrodes here are negative. There's only one positive electrode. But this electrode is further from the positive than the center one. Now the rheostat is what is used to balance that out. The center of the rheostat is connected to the negative from the power supply and either side of the rheostat goes to the two negative carbon bars. Right now I have this set to zero for the voltage. We have the voltmeter here and we have an amp meter but I have the amp meter turned off right now. When I turn that on, volts drop, but there is current. So what I want to show you here is what we can do with that. So you see the volts are at zero. And if I turn the rheostat, swings in one direction. And if I turn the rheostat again, I can swing it on the other side of zero. That has to do with life's electrically neutral reaction. All of life in the universe. You could be, have a pH imbalance. There we're at zero again. And you can see I have 20 volts going in. Now if I turn on the amp meter, you can now see that I can swing the amp meter in either direction also. The volts aren't as much with it shorted through the amp meter. Now what could you do with something like this? Well, you could scale this up and have a whole chain going down through with negative and rheostats to adjust whatever you want. You could also do that same thing with the positive side. You could put in a bunch of different elements and or gases, whatever particular solution you might need to use. A chemist would be more skilled at determining that than I am. But you could separate all, out all your different elements through a whole through a whole line of processing. Instead of using the brute force methods with heat and processing and separation that consume a whole lot of energy, you could possibly extract energy while you're doing your processing. There's many different possibilities with this. Maybe even 
extracting mining through wells to extract elements of course you got to do some research on what kind of chemicals you're going to end up leaving behind there in the earth but there's so many different things you could do with this now this arrangement up here you could do some coil setups or something like that depending on what you're doing if you're doing a pulse system Maybe you could load, load up an element with some electrons if you want to. There's many different possibilities that you could do with a three electrode system. And there's a lot of other things that were done in threes in science a long time ago. And it's been left and forgotten. Now this is also kind of similar to a, a transistor in a way. I'd like to hear what your thoughts are. Thank you for watching.